On February 12th, former Ultimate Fighting Championship and middleweight kingpin Robert Whittaker fought against Israel Adesanya in an attempt to reclaim the throne that he lost in their first fight back in 2019. This intense showdown between the Reaper and the last Stylebender resulted in a unanimous victory for Adesanya. In this video, we'll be telling you everything about Adesanya vs. Whittaker 2. So, watch the video till the end to learn everything about the fighter's unique styles, strengths, and weaknesses. Now, without any further ado, let's dive right in, shall we? Israel Adesanya Israel Adesanya is a Nigerian-born New Zealander, and he's currently the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. With titles like current best MMA middleweight fighter, greatest MMA striker of all time, current best pound-for-pound -pound MMA fighter, and fan-favorite MMA fighter, Adesanya has a spotless record since he joined UFC, with just one loss in his 22 MMA fights. Adesanya has an extensive background in kickboxing and boxing. Not only is he a dynamic fighter with an unorthodox streak, but he's also a huge crowd-pleaser, especially with his tornado kick, unapologetic behavior out of the octagon, and a ruthless fighter inside the ring. The 32-year-old has an astounding reach of 2.03 meters, and as the last style bender, Adesanya truly lives up to his name and the hype, since he's one of the most gifted strikers in the championship. Fighting Style Adesanya is a striker through and through, with experience in Muay Thai, kickboxing, boxing, and a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Right now, he's a professional mixed martial artist with a whopping 48 KOs in his kickboxing. Towering at 6'4", with a massive reach of 80 inches at least, the last stylebender takes down his opponents with his superior kicking. Adesanya often switches his stances and is in his zone with both southpaw and orthodox styles. He may not be a great volume puncher, but the man sure knows how to land it where it hurts his intended target. In his own words, quote, I don't throw and hope. I aim and fire. That really sums it up, doesn't it? Strengths Striking Adesanya is undoubtedly the best striker in modern MMA. Kickboxing is his biggest strength inside the ring. He literally has a kickboxing record of 75-5, so it's evident that his accuracy in shot selection, as well as his immense power, make him a dangerous adversary. His 20 defeated opponents can undoubtedly ascertain that for us. Range Control With his brilliant height and reach, Adesanya controls the fight and sets the tone with excellently timed lunges and shots. The 32-year-old stylebender can maintain his distance while still punishing his rivals, which is why he's been so successful so far. Fight IQ With his vast experience in Taekwondo, kickboxing, and boxing, Adesanya has one of the highest fight IQs in all of MMA. He can gauge the other fighters like an open book, and then he plants his shots, positioning, feints, strikes, and setups. He always knows when to switch stance or kick, and the way he manipulates the opponents into believing they're within range before dropping them like a stone is simply enthralling. It's Adesanya's intelligence that makes him triumph every single time. Now, let's talk about his weaknesses. Weaknesses Wrestling Defense Wrestling is not one of Adesanya's greatest fortes, unfortunately. He came to MMA late, so wrestling defense is a bit of a blind spot for him. His wiring, lean strength is irrefutable, but if a big, hunky wrestler decides to take him down one day, I won't be so surprised. Submissions Adesanya has never lost by submission, but neither has he subjugated another fighter by submission. If he's dragged into it by a cunning submission expert, there's a chance he may lose through submission loss because his ground game is still a bit murky. Chin Adesanya isn't impervious to hard punches to the chin and jaw. He's been knocked cold by a left hook at close range by Alex Pereira in 2018. So yeah, any fighter who can believe that a punch can knock out Adesanya has just discovered his weakness. Now, let's move on to Robert Whittaker, the Reaper. Robert Whittaker Robert Whittaker may be a former UFC champion, but he's still one of the best in the world. On two occasions, the 31-year-old has taken down top middleweights Darren Till, Jared Cannonier, and Kelvin Gastelum and he even gave his best against the kingpin Adesanya. The Australian welterweight fighter has a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and a black belt in Hepkido and Karate. So, understandably, he would have a nickname of the Reaper. Whitaker has triumphed over Benny Alloway and Colton Smith, 
and he's also the winner of the Ultimate Fighter, The Smashes. The Reaper's career is filled with 11 wins, with 10 finishes through submissions and technical knockouts. Fighting Style Whitaker has an orthodox fighting style and stance. His experience in wrestling and karate is also reflected in his fighting style. Whitaker can masterfully fuse his in and out movements with his lateral ones. This confuses the heck out of his rivals and allows Whitaker to gauge their speed, power, and precision. Whitaker makes sure that he lands a combo of three punches, and then he ends it with a strong kick. Whitaker has a remarkable ability to utilize his movement by keeping his rear foot heel for a powerful push, fainting kicks, and then landing a flurry of solid punches. Not only that, but he also has an excellent reach of 1.87 meters to truly dominate his opponent. Strengths Striking Whitaker is exceptionally agile and quick on his feet. I mean, that black belt in karate isn't just for show, you know. He can spring forward quickly and cover distance expertly to strike hard. He bounces lightly on his feet like Karateka, and in a second, he can blitz forward. Whitaker's greatest strength is his offensive takedown, especially since he lost his title. He's also a whiz at defensive wrestling. What helps Whitaker most is his great timing and incredible striking and grappling technique. Wrestling Now, there's a reason why Whitaker has subjugated so many opponents. The man can wrestle, and wrestle brutally. He's even won a gold medal at the Australian National Wrestling Championships in 2017, so wrestling is one of Whitaker's strongest suits. Add offensive takedowns to that, and you have a perfect fighting machine. The Fight Back on October 6, 2019, at UFC 243, Adesanya and Whitaker had fought in one of the most attended events in UFC history. The Reaper lost the championship due to a second round knockout, and the last stylebender cemented his position as the best middleweight fighter, silencing all his haters. Once more, the two adversaries met on February 12, 2022, in Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, for a rematch. And once again, Whitaker had to eat dust because of Adesanya's tactical method. Whitaker tried to hold his own against Adesanya, who constantly kept changing his stance and stand up game. If it had been any other middleweight fighter, Whitaker could have beaten them. But Adesanya is his league. But as it stands, Adesanya expertly defeated Whitaker via unanimous decision 48 to 47, 49 to 46. All right, so let's get into the meat of this incredibly fascinating fight. Adesanya vs. Whitaker 2 First Round The first round was opened by Adesanya, who came in with his signature high leg kicks. And so, Whitaker tried to take the tornado kicker in the first round, but ultimately, he missed. In their first match, it was Whitaker who'd been very patient. But this time, Adesanya played the long game, and he struck patiently and calmly, all the while landing multiple landing volume blows wherever Whitaker was in close range. Second Round Unfortunately for the Reaper, the second round was even worse because he already looked like he was gassed and shaky. Whitaker attempted to clip Adesanya, and he even landed a nice takedown. However, that was somewhat short-lived, but kudos for trying at least, right? Anyway, the last stylebender came at him with a kick to the head, and then to the legs! Ouch! And now, Whitaker looked truly as beaten up as he probably felt, with swollen legs and a pounding head. Actually, he did have many windows of opportunities in this round, but Whitaker's hesitance cost him a lot in the end. Third Round In the third round, Whitaker did put up a good fight by taking some jabs at Adesanya, and he was even able to drop the other fighter in the latter half of the round. However, this is Adesanya we're talking about, so of course, the man retaliated by quickly breaking through and kicking hard. Fourth Round so the fourth round was pretty eventful, with Adesanya trying to break Whitaker's momentum with his strong legs. Whitaker once more got on Adesanya's back for a takedown, but failed. More jabbing from both great players in the fourth round, and then they moved on to the last round. Fifth Round The last round was opened with solid jabs from Whitaker, who also managed to fit in another powerful takedown. Let's say that the Reaper really shined in this round, and he just wouldn't let go. But with a 7-inch reach advantage, Adesanya came out on top, of course. But with a unanimous decision with the scorecards reading 49-46, 48-47, and 48-47, Adesanya has been crowned the victor as he defended his middleweight title for the fourth time. This is why Israel Adesanya is on another level for sure. And that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did, make sure to drop a like and a comment below, because we'd love to hear your thoughts. Peace out!